All right, so now that I have the bass in there, I'm going to start building up the song. Uh, I'm trying to sort of s organize these a little bit. Uh, this one has, rather than having a constant like guitar part that goes throughout, it has a very orchestrated parts uh, with some keyboards and background vocals and stuff in there. Now, a lot of people have different orders in which they mix and bring things in and stuff like that. And I kind of like to build it up, but one thing I always do is always pretty much have the lead vocal in there because my ultimate goal is to make room for the vocals to sit in the pocket there. And so being able to hear that while I'm mixing the other instruments, even if it's not you know fully mixed or anything like that, gives me an idea of how to make that whole. So that's, that's how I mix. So I got the lead vocal in there. Okay, and so with a song organized like this, you know, I have my uh, first verse. I'm going to double click this and go verse one. Uh, so with my, my verse one here, I'm going to kind of bring the guitars in in order. That way I kind of orchestrate things, not just sonically, but but stereo wise. So let's uh, let's just see how it starts. I think it starts with just these two guitars. And... Uh, All right, let's pan one of those all the way to the right and uh, the main guitar pan a little bit to the left or something. Um, I'm actually gonna do the opposite. Pan uh, the hum all the way to the right, the guitar a little bit, to, or all the way to the left, the guitar a little bit to the right. So that guitar is clearly playing a melody, so I'm going to go in and uh, get some of that edgy, you know, sort of, um, you know, 2.5K-ish out of there. One thing that, if I, even if I pan something, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to hear something when it's panned. So if I'm EQing, I'll usually pan it into the center, and then do my EQing and then pan it back to where it was. Yeah, that's the annoying frequency. Let's duck that out a little bit. Again, high pass filter on there. I can't stress enough how important it is to high pass filter um, your denser tracks. You know, almost every track I'll high pass filter. You know, the more tracks you have, the more you have to really cut out to make space for everything. So I'm, I'm gonna just keep on cutting. I can always undo, but I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper than I think I need to. All right, now I have uh, two other guitar parts going on here and an acoustic guitar part. Holy smokes. Um, let's hear what the acoustic guitar is doing. Let's EQ the hell out of that and compress the hell out of that. Um,
thin that some more. That's just pretty dense. And some compression will get it to kind of stay down there. I'm going to just use the Renaissance compressor. Increase the speed of that attack. I really don't want those transients to be poking through too much, so let's bring that in there. Let's put that in a space. So I'm going to make a uh, reverb for that. So I'm going to go in there and go send a new track. I'll call it a mono track. We'll call it um, acoustic verb. I might use it for other things, but for now I'm just going to use it on the acoustic track there. Um, let me hit save. And let's open up uh, reverb. What do I have? Uh, Revive 2 I like a lot, um, as I like the, the altiverb. Let's do altiverb. Uh-oh. And I have some uh, favorites I have saved. I, I highly recommend Altiverb. I've used this for years and years, and it has a ridiculous amount of sounds. So I'm just going to go and uh, grab one of my favorites. This is when I download this off of This is a uh, impulse response from the Bercasti reverb. So... <laughs> I can always add more, but you know, that works. Puts that guitar in a space so it's not so in your face. I want it to kind of sit back there and not right right here. Let's put a little bit of uh, um, a compressor on that. Uh, Kenny guitar intro. Here we have one more. I have two more guitar parts for the intro. I've got these mic verses. Um. Let's EQ that. That gets a little bit edgy in there. Yeah, that makes it stick out, but also uh, makes it you know cut in too much. So let's do that. Um, again, a high pass filter. Crank that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, oh, let's compress it. Just use that Renaissance compressor again. There's a two to one on there. Yeah. 
So I'm going to shift it on the other side that uh, Kenny, Kenny's intro guitar is on. I'm going to put that one to the left. Put the that has a nice interplay with the acoustic guitar. I think I'm gonna see if I can uh, pan the acoustic guitar a little bit to the right. That was the reverb, not the guitar. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, let's get that tremolo guitar, what the hell that is. Like, we need one more guitar part in here. Um, all right, it's a tremolo. They weren't lying about that. Um, I mean, I recorded it, so I should know, but like 20 years ago. some of those uh like that hard pan. I ordinarily wouldn't do that, but it makes it more noticeable. Yeah. Now we're talking. Two to one ratio on that. So that's guitars part one. We're going to dive in for the rest of the guitars in the next video.